Welcome to this lesson on Cartesian coordinates. Our friend Emilio was put in charge of mapping the Bermuda Triangle. After spending a long, tiring day at sea, he drew a nice map and was feeling proud of himself. Here's the map he drew. Oh no, the next day, just before turning in his assignment, Emilio discovered that his instruments had been calibrated incorrectly. The actual coordinates should be one mile west and two miles north of what he had. Emilio thought he'd have to fly back and remeasure. Can we help Emilio find the correct coordinates so he doesn't have to waste another day? Let's ask your new classmate, Mongoose, whether he has any ideas. Miss Jane, the positive x-axis points towards the east, and Emilio has to shift his triangle one mile to the west. So I think we have to subtract one from each x-coordinate. Very good, Mongoose. Using the same reasoning, I'm sure all of you figured out that we have to add 2 to each y-coordinate. Even though we can immediately write down the answer for Emilio, let's sketch what happens so Emilio can see why he doesn't have to fly out there again. Starting with point A, we move one unit left and two units up. We arrive at A prime, which has coordinates 1, 3. Moving on to point B, we move one unit left and two units up. We arrive at B prime, which has coordinates 2, 6. The last point is C. Move one unit left and two units up. We arrive at C prime, which has coordinates negative 5, 8. Let's connect our new vertices. And there it is, Emilio's Bermuda Triangle. A few days later, the class received a thank you card. Inside the card was a copy of Emilio's new map. Good job, class.